ladies and ex-murderers. Welcome to the second episode of Alan Wake Remastered. Let us jump right in. <laughs> oh no, we're the victim. Ah, oh. ah. God damn it. Oh, yeah. What happened? Wrong weapon, that's what happened. I shoot a flare into his face. <laughs> Sweet but Jesus. His face came clean off. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake she had was been gushing? the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Sounds like the first episode of Misery. Novel by Stephen King. Pretty good novel, actually. Before he became insane. Emergency. And I got like an emergency box on a fence with some revolver ammo and batteries. <coughs> because that's what normal people need in a in an emergency. I hope this thing isn't going to come to life. You crazy lady. What She's the hell was cray. that? Hey, crazy when I lady. Saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay, that is uh, maybe not very easy to cross on foot. The river, that is. I knew there was going to be a thermos back here. I got another thermos. Oh. This is like such a pointless mechanic in games, in my opinion. You just, you just drew a bunch of random items through your maps. You hide them, and then when you find them, it just tells you, hey, you got one out of a hundred. I mean, if at least you get a reward for having a certain amount, like you got 15, congratulations, here's a shotgun. Oh, this Stucky is the bonus. Still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Isn't it? Oh, here we go. Manuscript page. Barry, Barry. was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Why does he go into the menu first when I just want to get out of this here? Goes into the game menu first. <clears throat> Computer game. Stucky? Are you stuck again? <laughs> Let's make sure he doesn't get stuck in us with his axe. That would be unepic for us. It would be pretty horrible. Oh. Ow. 
item limit reached. Oh wait, this is where it came from? Right. Oh, we got flying bushes here. <laughs> Spaghetti -o. The revolver. Why couldn't he have gotten a better gun? You put the whole magazine in instead of. <laughs> oh! Putting one bullet at a time in. I mean, I get it. It's cool, but it's also inefficient. Good old six shooter. Uh, which way? Oh, you can climb? So this symbol it leads to equipment still have to figure out Or does it just show the way where we have to go? Wait, I saw... <gasps> this guy stumbles around like a moron all the time. I mean, I get it. It's realistic. He's in the momentum of running if you change directions and stuff. But it removes your control over the character all right um let's go over hither hello is there anyone here i'm the friendly neighborhood not a job Lithium batteries. Ah, a bunch of stuff. Stuff is good. We got the secret. So that symbol with the three dots leads to the torch symbol, which is loot. Hmm. What do we do here? Do we start this? No. We need to get the party started. I'm coming home, so you better get the party started. When I get back home, I want the party to be going on. I want to come in and... The staircase was broken. <laughs> I had to make my way up some other way. You're ruining everything with your babbling. Emergency. Some emergency ammo and the batteries for our, our adult toys. Yeah, 
Yeah, these I days they're stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. A rechargeable, thank God. The adult toys. You put them on your schlonger and then you go, oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, I can see loot. Stop taking damage. Are you a five-year-old? Did you want to tell me you can't jump down this without taking damage? You just hold yourself and you let yourself down and it's like half as high. I gotta jump down like it's cool. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Let's break my legs as long as it looks cool. It's worth it. So we got helmets, we got the little... No, we don't need fuel, apparently. Let's go to the ominous green... Green line. Oh, whoa! Calm your boot, hey, sir! Axe throwing is cheating. Oh wait, I should shot the flare gun. I'm an idiot. He's a dual wielder. Danger. Hard hat area. And this is just gonna light up for a limited amount of time, huh? How is this house the hard hat area and outside no? I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Oh, with F5, you can get it out directly. Shotgun! I call shotgun. I call shotgun. No, no, literal shotgun, not sitting on the passenger side. If I call shotgun, it means I'm going to shoot you in the face with a shotgun gonna shoot half of your head off your head is gonna end like this and then there's gonna be nothing above the jaw that means Dan has called shotgun <laughs> move the log lift. oh okay we're gonna make us a little bridge huh it's the bridge over troubled water should be do that good enough oh we can't get look at this you can just pull yourself up come on you jump a little and pull yourself up you need a minimal amount of body strength for that even you can do it alan i mean unless you're really fat but maybe you can't even do one pull up. That doesn't seem to be the case here, though, huh? Oh, we got another one of these. Boom! What the? Bridge over troubled water. Well, 
I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather's absolutely oh, still. The sky did you is fart? crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along. Dude, I have a friend that occasionally comes over. We play I'm games together, and he always has to like fart this, a million I times. Cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. And then you get the choice between opening the window, having some cold air come in from the back, or smelling his ass. The inside of his ass. And it's a very, very easy choice. It's a choice that I don't have to think about. It's made automatically. Either a little bit of cold air, or you smell sure. the insides of his ass. And trust me, that kills the man. It just kills him. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. So what, if I don't find one page, I'm lost? Are you kidding me? And then you're hiding them in the corners of, of the map? What a great mechanic. The I gas station it... was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Hope that isn't true. Paul makes the best curves in the street. Barry Burster is the best with no curves. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh no, he's gonna come. Oh my. I always hate dog enemies because I hate dogs in real life. That's why I have one. No, it's because dogs are fast, fast enemies. I, uh, excuse me, sir. Just reloading in a jiffy. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, chup, the chup. Uh oh. Got him. Okay, thank God. It's not a dog. Which is funny because God is spelled, if you spell it in reverse, it's dog. Thank the dog, it's not a god. Thank Doggo. Are they gonna spawn forever? Hello? Excuse me, sir, but. I can't do this minigame while you're trying to kill me, sir. Safe haven. Do it! I think this saves... This might... Yeah, checkpoint reached. This might save the game, too. Safe haven. Have you ever heard of something like an unsafe haven? Yeah, we got this place over there. It's an unsafe haven. So if you want to be really unsafe, you go over there. Enjoy it. It's great. You're going to get murdered in the first five seconds. Really unsafe. Oh, wow. Really? I love it. Super unsafe. Oh, shit. Shit, man. Ow, that was my noggin. I still need it for thinking. 
I don't have enough uh, stamina. Couldn't even pick up the damn thermos. The thermos, I need it. I love coffee. Coffee is good. Coffee is love. Coffee is life. You know what's really annoying? That they're always faster than me. I run out of stamina and then I'm super slow. I'm gonna go back to the safe haven here. Oh, sir, calm your bootay. Oh, they vanish. Does he heal in here? So we have... <clears throat> I can't see the stamina. I'm thinking those those four red bars are the help. We got ammo over here. Stamina. Let's sprint around a little. Let's see if something changes. It doesn't... Nothing changes. Yeah, nice dodge. <laughs> okay, we have to just look on. Um, we have to calculate when he gets tired and look on. Um, check his, uh, his his body posture. I guess we're gonna have it. We're gonna have to make it from light to light. Oh shit! Two assholes coming in. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, yes, yeah. Keep throwing axes at me. I love, love axes. Excuse me, I have to read something. Just a second, yes. <laughs> I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. This reminds me of In the Mouth of Madness. If you haven't seen that movie, I think it's an 80s John Carpenter movie. If you like horror movies, go watch it. In the Mouth of Madness. Very under underrated, I would say. Maybe not underrated, it just never got much traction. So up there, we go to the gas station. What if we go over here? Maybe we'll find another page. No, we just die like an idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> he jumps. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> he jumped after me. What an idiot. <laughs> just jumped after. All right, we have to get the thermos again, I think. Yeah, we do. That's re Those guys are really annoying. <laughs> All right, we'll move towards the manuscript. Let's not waste too much stamina. Oh, there we, there it is. Whoa, calm your boot, hey! Wait, why are there so many? Excuse me, sir, no killing, please. No murder, please. Thank you very much, but no, thank you. Out! Run! Fuck 
you, you, you son of a... He hit me in the light. It's literally cheating. How dare you, sir? You have ruined my life. We have maximum batteries, so we can use them. I don't have to save them anymore. We can pick up more. I'm telling it to myself, not to you. Okay. This is actually stressful. Wait. Three dots. And a few dots. So this way is... Some extra equipment. It's like what your mom has in her pants. She got some extra equipment in there. People are very surprised when they see it for the first time. <laughs> oh, excuse me, madam. What is that? I have one of these. Gas station, um, uh, well, hot diggity dog. What dwag? What dwag? I feel like it's time for a manuscript page. I wonder, these are, because we got a bunch here. We got like half of them. This is not half the game. Oh, it's episode one. This is the first episode, I see. It's just from the first episode. Oh, shit. Excuse me, are you friendly? <laughs> just kidding. I'm insane. Excuse me, I have to read this. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Okay, I can't leave if you surround me! I know, I have a shotgun. I wanted to shoot them with the shotgun, but first you have to remove the darkness garbage that they have going on. Right? I don't even know how it works. Is it just a shield? Are they invulnerable? But Wait, I have to reload. I could just shoot them with a flare gun, but I don't know if that just damages one guy and it's not very very useful if it does his meal consists of horse schlongers <laughs> Oh shit, I use it always switches to the flare gun. Oh wow. Okay. I'm not complaining, not complaining. Apparently it's an area of effect weapon, which is very cool. An AOE. Or as the professional players call it. Oh wait. The professional pickup shotgun. I already have one. Shotgun ammo. Science. It Twilight so. mortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, 
Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this. It doesn't gun. prove that the next Each round isn't a dud. Trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire. And one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and <laughs> they always do happen <laughs> somewhere. The point is, uh -oh. one thing did not happen here you're insane colvin insane insane hey was this thing supposed to be plugged in i stumbled on it you fools gaze upon quantum immortality it works it just Lord works Lord dr colvin filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. The night night springs. I like this. <clears throat> We're gonna watch all of this. Okay, I don't know what this one did. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? It's me. I'm friendly. <laughs> Super friendly. I'm the friendliest. Oh, shit. The crazies are back. And I don't know what to do. They always pop up and know exactly where they are. They teleport to me. Such an annoying mechanic. Okay, I see the switch. Oh, it's a stucky. And unfortunately, he's not stuck today. Son of a biatch. I'm gonna push this button here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, shut you. Watch out. God damn it. Dude, this feels like Hitler is talking in the background. Oh, stop. And you're getting attacked by a bunch of a-holes. 
And you can't even understand what he's saying. Not that it matters. Wait, can we shoot those when they're above them? I just dodged. <laughs> God damn it. What a diggity dog. We're gonna flare those. We're gonna flare those up. Those axe murderers. I hit dodge in the right moment, but if, if two attack, then you only dodge one of them. We're gonna try and group them up for a destructive destruction of the destructivity. Oh, I can't open this. I can't open it. Use it, use it! Oh shit, I have to dodge! Excuse me! Oh ho ho ho! I can't. Oh, I used it already. So, what did it do? Oh, thermos. You little rascal, you. Must have turned on the power somewhere. Okay, at least we got rid of his uh, his ads, basically. There's only him left. Stucky. Stucky McStuckington. When he was a child, he got stuck in his mom. And that's where he still is. That's why they called him Stucky couldn't go anywhere without his mom. So what do we do? I mean, I flipped the switch and then... We don't have to go back here, right? Sir, Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Why is the voice acting so quiet? If I made it louder than everything else in the menu. <sighs> Computer games. It just never works. They just never work the way they're supposed to work. I mean, it's not exactly true, but you know, let's say often. <gasps> you stop breathing like an idiot. Thank you very much. Oh, this is the gas station. Yeah, we made it. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. The parade float. Looks abandoned here. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. The, the insanity. Same reasserted itself. 
I've experienced the insanity, Doctor. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. That can't be a good thing. <clears throat> okay, we want to go into the I gas station. I had to get station. inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside That's the me. cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? The watery. <laughs> Bright Falls. Cauldron Lake. So we're we're here on Cauldron Lake. I don't know where we had the car crash down. We Car Cauldron Lake was our um, our house. We had a car crash. Now we're at the gas station. Oh, we're here, Stucky's gas station. Is that where we are? Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island. What do you think? What does she no think she is? Like a Not since the Clint Eastwood? In the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. We missed a few pages. And it's your fault.
and dream. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Huh. Well, that's new. New York, three years ago. Yeah, he put the bags on us. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweet. Honey, I'm home. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Sure. The coffee maker. We 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 need some scuffed American coffee. Coffee's on. Great. This is like Great. such an American coffee thing. I don't know anyone who has tomorrow. this. We have like machines that grind the coffee fresh. Here, filter coffee in a in a in a can, and it just kept warm. It's like a diner coffee. Oh, what is this? A new TV? The CC. The CC. Wow. TV. Pretty fat box. It's not a really a thin TV, I oh, guess. Oh, hey. Huh? I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to Can think you perform so them night. in bed as well. Magical miracles, and then I perform a miracle and I produce some sticky liquid out of thin air. <laughs> it's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. <clears throat> These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right sure, here. honey. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I used them as well. 
The lies had to feel true for them to become true. Had I always written this way? Even before, seeing things without realizing I was seeing them, thinking they were mine. Was this what inspiration was for me? My phone is pretty scratched, huh? It's not my, it's not the, the glass. I have a protector on the phone glass, by the way. Alan, I really need those lights on. Yeah, um, I'm turning them on. Snuggle bands. I gotta find, um, I gotta find them first. Telling me where the fuse box is, like we're not living here. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Do you mind if I flash your face? I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. The clicker. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. I love you. Mr. Wick, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Mr. Wick, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. All right. It looks like we're also done here. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.